What's up, everyone? God bless you, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful, positive, and blessed day on this amazing day. Honestly, um, I had a lot on my mind, and honestly, I just wanted to just come in here and just talk to you about feeling blessed of life, opportunities, uh, just anything that has to do with true blessings, right? Um, you know, for a long time, I always felt irrelevant. Uh, for a long time, I always felt like I did things my own way and I felt that it just wasn't being heard. And I see it. I still see it to this day. Uh, there's so many things that I've gone through in my life that I always felt like the underdog, right? Um, and, you know, buying this mic is something that I've always dreamed of having just because I want to do voiceovers. Um, and it's one of the dreams that I've, I've had since I was a kid. I wanted to do cartoons and um, I, I always know I was meant for more, but I never felt like I was more, if that makes sense. So, uh, uh a very recent story that I want to talk to you guys about just to show you about consistency and knowing how far you can actually go in life if you put in the work, right? Um, basically, nine years ago, before my fitness journey began, I wanted to be a part of something big, right? Uh, I even reached out to a great friend of mine about joining his bike club. Yeah. I was gonna join a bike club and because I just wanted to be a part of something big and I wanted to just do something more with my life than what I was currently doing at the time. Um, I wanted a distraction. I wanted to just, you know, my, I wanted my energy to be used somewhere different. And, you know, I had the conversation with a friend of mine and, you know, he gave me everything that I needed. All I needed to do was sign it, study it, buy a bike, join. Um, and, and then months later, months later, I decided to want it. I, I decided to want to work out. And I, I discovered that I was feeling droggy. Like I was getting rashes in my stomach area. My back was hurting. I was tired all the time. All these things started to happen. And then after a while, I discovered fitness. And then one of my great friends, another great friend of mine, uh, gave me the bootleg version of Insanity at the time. I got the original, trust me. Uh, I got the bootleg version of Insanity, which a lot of us probably did at the time. And, and the moment I stepped into working out with that program, I knew this is what I was looking for. And, and it took off from there. And then months later, I joined uh, Beachbody and then I started seeing my value into a community rise. And I was discovering that my voice was being heard in a way that I always wanted it to be heard uh, and understood. And it was because I was obviously putting in the work, right? Um, I got great results. I lost 20, uh, I lost 55 pounds in four months. And ever since then, I just been, I've been like a seesaw with, with my weight only because every program gives you different results. And I was always the type of person that did things um, because I just wanted to uh, pretty much see the results for each program. So, you know, years go by and, you know, setbacks happen, uh, controversies happen, uh, situations happen, things that we always want isn't always what we need. Um, and one thing, one phrase that I discovered for myself uh, in recent history is that God doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need so that you can work to get what you want. And 
a lot of the times people think that things come easy for certain people, but it doesn't because nobody sees the hard work behind the closed door. And that work behind the closed door is really the, the, the thing that matters the most in the success itself. And, you know, as I kept growing, uh, physically, I was also developing mentally throughout the process. Uh, so many great things happened for me in fitness, uh, throughout those years. I came out in a fitness program. I came out in an infomercial, um, I was seeing a lot of success and then I made a decision to leave my nine to five and do the business full time, but I didn't put in the work because I got comfortable. I thought it was just going to come to me and, and for years, that's the way I, I kind of took life and it wasn't until fairly recent that I discovered that everything I worked hard for, I got. And every voice that I've ever made happen has been heard for as long as I stay within myself. Not what other people tell me. And that's another thing that, that it was a fault of mine is that a lot of people in my life in the past nine years have kind of thrown a monkey wrench into my life into changing who I was. And I listened because, you know, these are people that I cared about and loved pretty much still love. And, but as great as an intention that they had, it was an opinion. It wasn't who I was. And I made a lot of changes, which truly set me back to where I wanted to go, but in hindsight, it made me the person I am right now. So the detour that I took, that, that, that pretty much the need that I had was to discover myself at a higher level than who I was when I first began. And it took a lot of mistakes, it took a lot of setbacks, it took a lot of emotional growth to get me to where I am today. And it has not been easy. I mean, my phrase of my, 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 my mantra of half faith, not fear began in 2009. So we're talking about two years prior to me going into fitness that this mantra came into my life and it, it was preparing me for what I was about to go through. Um, and then years later, Obviously, I discovered uh, my rosary and then I discovered a higher faith, a higher calling, and, and I'm just growing every single day. And the point of this whole video is to point out is that people are not going to see it through your eyes. They're only going to see it through their own. And it's not your fault and it's not theirs. Everyone has the right to their opinion, but is their opinion your vision? Does it align with your vision? And if it doesn't, it's only an opinion that you could probably use when it becomes part of your vision. If it's not in your vision, then it's not a part of it at the moment that they speak of it. Doesn't mean you forget about it. You just kind of have to let it go until the time comes to say, you know what, now is the time for me to use that opinion because it fits my vision. And I want you to realize that my growth from where I was to where I am is a blessing every day because of my faith. I truly, till this day, I thank God that I have not lost my faith. I've struggled. I faced many challenges. I faced many setbacks. I've made many mistakes. I've said many things I shouldn't have said. I've done many things I shouldn't have done, but I never lost my faith. So I want to leave you knowing that whatever decision you make, don't ever lose your faith. 
because God doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need so that you can work your butt off to go get what you want. And it ain't going to be easy. There's going to be a lot of mistakes along the way. But if you trust in your faith, if you trust the process, you will succeed. I promise you that. I'm here because I never lost faith. And the last thing before I go is that not everyone is going to see it your way. If your vision takes you a direction that you want to go, take people's opinion as just that, as an opinion. But don't lose sight of where you're going. If the opinion fits the direction, follow it. If it doesn't, take the detour and go for a different one. Because God always places the right people at the right time to get you to the right place. Don't forget that. God doesn't make mistakes. He creates opportunities and experiences for us to get to where he always intended us to be. Believe me, you can get there, but it will take time and it will take massive amounts of patience. And if you have that, you'll get there. God bless you. And always remember, never forget to have faith, not fear. Why? Because faith always ignites the healing within. Because you matter. God bless you.